M0FXP, welcome to my channel. So just first time boot up of the Anytone 578 UV Pro 3. This is the newest model, 2022, has APRS received. So we've literally just powered it up now. We've just got a rubber duck in at the moment. We're gonna be testing it with our all-star node, which is in the house, and our hotspot, DMR hotspot. So just powered by a 30 amp power supply. And then look at the, uh, the microphone, it's pretty, super duper i literally haven't even pressed the ptt yet but that microphone basically controls everything you don't actually hardly ever need to use the front of the radio but anyway let's just do confirm i'm not going to put the date in now just click confirm like so let it boot up so it boots up straight away i'm just going to go through things as if i've never used one of these before so let's have a quick look. Let's just turn the volume up here on the A section, on the B section, turn it down. You can only see what you're receiving, as far as I can see, one at a time when there's information coming through, like a CSV file, you're only gonna see one at a time, although when it's receiving, so when it's in standby, you'll see VFO A and B. So out of the box, program one button is putting you into VFO mode. So v that's VFO, that's memory. Two isn't doing anything. Three doesn't do anything. Let's just put it into VFO mode and see if it does. Nope, and then obviously menu is menu. You can cycle through the menus by just turning this control knob here. Talk groups messages, call log, zone, scan, roaming, settings. And you push the channel button here to go into the radio settings. Virtually the same, I would say, the same display as the 878. So let's just go into radio set. Now we're not learning how to use it, we're just looking at the moment. Display functions, key functions and other functions. Then you select back with the exit button here. Radio set, let's go to channel set. New channel, so that's adding a, programming a new channel. All that kind of stuff, go back. Device info is where we're gonna see our firmware, our radio, our DMR number's not in there yet, or our call sign. Frequency range. Now there is a program called AT, AT something, and apparently you can, uh, make this a tri-bander but i'm not saying do that but apparently you can if if, if you're for a usa model uh where it where it comes standard with 220 megahertz let's go back into menu let's look down zone let's find aprs there's gps digimonitor bluetooth and aprs now it does say it's aprs receive I would say that to see that in analog, you would go down to APRS info, APRS info, and you would see it there if, if there's if you've received anything. Again, same as the eight seven eight really. Upload because all the usual exit. So why would you even buy a five seven eight? Well, it's because you want a mobile version. It's higher power. I haven't checked the specifications, but I'm sure it's it's could be as much as fifty watts. But I'm gonna find out all that. It's been here for five minutes, this radio. It's got Digimonitor, it's got GPS, comes with a GPS antenna, fully programmable microphone. Let's just uh, have a look at P4, P5, and P6. Nothing's been programmed there. And you've got the list section there, which I would say is just push that for your list. View contacts, edit contacts, select contact, and you've got back. Again, these are button list and menu is what you've got on the 878. Let's have a quick go with the the microphone as well. So let's firstly see if we can do any DTMF. So we go. No, I literally don't know what I would do. So we can program in the. Oops, that was funny how it flashed like that. Is that a TX thing? So we'll just go back. Like I said, it needs programming, so let's just put in 431 uh, 550 zero, zero, 
all the zeros. Let's just see, it does say digital already. Let's just see if it even picks up my, my hotspot. Okay, well yeah, it's been receiving some DMR on the A band and on the B band. We've got our analog all-star node. It receives both at the same time. But you only see one DMR thing at the time, because it's quite a small screen. So that's it, just showing you it up and running, uh, just first time power on, and uh, then we'll do some more in-depth programming afterwards. At the moment, there's no CSV file in there, so you're just seeing, you know, DMR numbers and, and the frequency, and we're in VFO mode just by pushing the P1 button. So let's program it up. Bye for now, 7-3.